Hey guys, Get Level here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Streamlabs OBS's filters. Now in this specific video, I want to take a look at a visual filters, video filters or image filters, and not audio filters. I will probably make a, another video in the future for this specific subject. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so I'm in Streamlabs OBS right now. As you can see, this is an intermission screen that is from the Apex Legend free overlay pack that you can get from gumroad.com slash get level. Uh, as you can see, it's a full overlay pack. It's uh, static, not animated. So yeah, gumroad.com slash get level. If you're wondering where the overlays are from, you can get them for free. Okay, so Streamlabs OBS gives you a multitude of filters that you can use for your live streams. And they can be very, very useful. But I also understand that not everyone took the time to check them all out. Not everyone understands all the possibilities that you have with those filters. So this is why I'm making this video right now. So before we go into how to add filters to your sources, if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to add your overlays in order to make everything look good, I have a video on that. Just click top right of your screen right now, the little eye, and it will get you to that. Now, the best way to add a filter is to right click on your source. Right now, I'm going to add it to my camera, for example, and click on filters. As you can see, I already have a sharpen filter to make my camera look a little uh, sharper. But let's look at the list. So once you click that little plus to add a new filter, you will see the list here where it says filter type. So the first filter in the list is face mask filter, uh, face mask plugin. I will not get into this in this video because uh, I have some issues with my face mask right now. So I wouldn't be able to properly demonstrate it, but I will make a specific video for that. In the meantime, I will link towards a tutorial on how to use them. But all you have to know is uh, you add those to your webcam source and people can donate and choose masks that will appear on your face. It's basically kind of like the Snapchat filter uh, effect. All right, the second filter in the list is image mask slash blend. Uh, and this one, I already made a tutorial. So right here, you can uh, rename your filters, but I strongly advise against it so that you, you're not completely lost if you give them silly names. Basically, what that does is it lets you upload something, um, uh, some sort of image that will be used as a mask. The video where I demonstrated that was to make a circular webcam, for example. So I went into Photoshop and I created uh, this type of image. Well, basically it's a black and white image, but the blacks and the whites will actually determine what will be hidden from your webcam. So right now, if I wanted a circular webcam, uh, the, the general rule if you use Photoshop for masks and stuff like that is white will reveal and black will hide. So I have different versions there. I, I don't remember which one is going to work. So let's try this one out. So as you can see, this is what you would be using this effect for. If you have a very particular overlay that has a shape that is not a rectangle or a square, then you can use that to make your webcam match your overlay perfectly. All right, let's get rid of it and let's move on. Okay, add new filter. All right, what else do we have? Gain is the audio filter, so we're not going to get into that. Color correction. Now, color correction is something that I also demonstrated in my how to make any overlay match your color theme video. Basically, I mostly use it to get my overlays to change color. But if you apply it to uh, the webcam, for example, if I go to U shift, well, this is the effect to change color. It has a live preview. So sometimes when I'm getting my my chat motivated to do a raid, I will just put some music and and just play around with the hue like that just to get people hyped for a raid. But if you're not completely satisfied with your camera quality, you can also improve it a little bit. You can give it a little more uh, saturation if you want more colors. Of course, you can overdo it like that. Oh my God. <laughs> But you can also just slightly modify it if it's too colorful, make it black and white like that. You can also play around with stuff like the brightness, the contrast, if we make it low and we're approaching the gray. If you want to reverse an invert effect, this is how you do it by dropping the contrast to minus two. You can also play with the gamma if you want to boost your, your lighting a little bit or darken everything. And that's the color correction filter. If I were to apply it to my intermission, you will see what it would look like. Oh, I already have one. So if I do this, as you can see, just by shifting the hue, you can change any overlays to match your color theme. All right, let's look at the list. So the next filter is scaling 
aspect ratio. Let's uh, take a look at that. What I, I've never used this before, but what I think it does is basically it stretches your, or it crops and stretches your source to fit a certain aspect ratio. Right now, I am not at 16 by nine or four by three, but let's try the four by three. Maybe I'm already at four by three. Let's try 16 by nine. There you go. So now basically my camera source was not like full HD. It wasn't 1920 by 1080. So now it's stretched it out so it can fit that aspect ratio. That's not obviously that's not a, an effect that I would recommend using because it just stretches stuff out. Let me try one by one should be a square. There you go. So it basically stretches everything to be square. Um, I'm sure there are some situations if you have overlaid overlays that are slightly too big or stuff like that but on a camera don't use that <laughs> anyways moving on the next effect is a visual effect it is scroll now where this is mostly used is when it comes to stream labels when you have your most recent follower most recent subscriber and stuff like that you will see that they are scrolling this is what this is the effect people use on it you can have horizontal speed oops there you go <laughs> obviously you can add it to any visual source i guess you can make an effect like that with your camera that actually looks pretty good i like it i'm so gonna add that to my stream now <laughs> and um you can also add it on the other axis which is the vertical axis okay i do have some black bars uh around my camera so it's not as smooth but uh yeah to show you an example i actually have one here as you can see right here i showed the labels bar it has uh the top cheerer top donator most recent sub and then most recent follower right here and they're scrolling and they all have the effect the filter on it all right next render delay now this can be useful for your camera if you have some issues when it comes to your audio if your audio is kind of late basically if you have a delay with your audio where your audio uh, comes in after the video and it's not synced you can use this to precisely sync it one thing i realized is that you can only go up to 500 milliseconds so if i go blah 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 see you can see it's not in sync i'm gonna clap to show you Clap again. So now it's five milliseconds. Uh, it's 500 milliseconds. If I try to put 1000 to have a whole second, it readjusted to five milliseconds. But if you want to have a whole second, what you can do is actually stack them and you go back to render delay and you click OK. So you're going to have two effects. You're going to add the 500 here too. And now you have a whole second delay on your camera as you can see so it can be useful if you have a video if you have um, i don't know if, if you're using some sort of overlay that uses a video where you need it to be delayed that's pretty that's pretty good that's pretty good all right let's get rid of it next effect color key now you probably heard of chroma key basically the effect used for green screening color key is the same thing except you don't have to be um it doesn't have to be green so the first option you have here is key color type and it says it's on green we don't want it to be on green let's put it on red because i have the projector but keep in mind that if uh depending on the settings uh red is pretty much the color of your skin this is why in hollywood they don't use uh red for green screening they use blue screens and green screens because those are colors that are the furthest away from the human skin okay i selected red and it's not doing anything for now so let me bump up the similarity. Oh, we're getting something. As, as you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's having a hard time detecting the pure red. Plus, I'm getting a little bit of red reflected on me. So it's probably going to key me out. So right now it's creating, it's not creating um, darkness. It's creating a transparent background, actually. So if I put an image behind this, you will see the effect. That just looks weird. We can smooth it out. Ooh. it's not it's not better i'm gonna set my lights to green and we'll, we'll try with green okay it, it turns out with my white balance that's as green as it's gonna get so let's try it out yeah it doesn't take that as green so let's try blue there you go okay so basically with my led lights i have a cheap green screen by just pointing 
my lights behind me. Now, as I said, the color can be custom. So instead of just choosing the presets here, you can click custom color right here, and then you can choose precisely the color that you want. Since my greens are not that green, they're more of a bluish uh, green, I can go around here and have it more precise, you see? And from there, I can mess around with it. And now my camera is actually transparent. Let me try to put something behind me. <laughs> that looks so weird. That looks so, so weird. So this is how I created a, a cheap <laughs> green screen. Just pointed my, my lights, my green light, my bluish green light at the curtain. And now I can use color key. Of course, it's not perfect. As you can see, it struggles with my hair a lot. But uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. If you don't have the budget for a green screen, uh, you can probably do something like that. Also, if I had, if my wall was like one color, the thing is only my curtain is being keyed out right now. So obviously, same thing for overlays. I'm showing you on my webcam because it's the most apparent thing, but you can use those filters in any visual um, sources that you have in Streamlabs OBS. So if you have an overlay and there's a part of the overlay you don't want to be showing, you can add a color key if it's just like the color you want it to be transparent or something. Apply loot is something that I don't want to get into, but loots are basically uh, color presets. I, I probably have some on my computer, but it's going to take me a while to find them. Basically, they are used in uh, the film industry or or for people that are making short films and stuff like that. They're, they're basically color presets to make your footage look a certain way. So you, when you film something, uh, when you're doing cin cinematography and you film something, usually what you film is going to be desaturated. It's not going to be that sharp. Lutes will help you just drag and drop a, a, a preset kind of like a Lightroom preset or a Photoshop preset, just instantly, like an Instagram filter, if you will. So that's what loots are. You can look it up and you can download, like there's a bunch of free loots out there, so you can try it out. Uh, it's To me, it's kind of overkill for for Streamlabs OBS, but because I've never used loot like on webcam footage, but hey, you can always try it out. Okay, next one is Sharpen. I'm actually already using uh, the first Sharpen here. As you can see, if your webcam is kind of uh, blurry, you can use it to make it a way, like way, way sharper. I usually um, add a little bit of sharpness just to make it look a little crisp, but you can make it crazy like that. Oh my God, it's so sharp. I look like a character from a graphic novel or something like that. <laughs> Same thing, if you got some overlays and they're not looking too sharp, bam, slap a sharpness on it. Next one is chroma key. So just like color key, chroma key is here to key out a specific color. This one, you can also uh, customize it. So I'm not sure why there are two of them, but maybe they work differently and I just haven't been playing around with them. Um, one thing I need to say is that if you want to play around with the opacity of a, a source, I almost said a layer, you can add a color correction filter or a chroma key. They both have the option to have the whole source just be uh, transparent. Say if it's 50% opacity. So that's the transparency basically. So same thing with the color key, you can pick a more specific, oh. 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 What, ha oh my God, into my, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, my teeth. What is going, I'm so, uh, okay. Um, moving on. Video delay async. I haven't used that yet. Let me check. Oh, same thing with uh, render delay, I guess. Let me try one second. Is it possible? Yes. Oh, okay. So you don't need to stack the render delay. You can just go. Is that loud? That was probably too loud. You can just go. See, uh, there's a huge delay now. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Noise suppression is an audio filter. Noise gate is an audio filter. Compressor is an audio filter. And VST plugin is an audio filter. So that basically concludes this whole visual filter from Streamlabs OBS. Once again, I would like to apologize to, uh, to everyone for that weird chroma key incident. I, um... I did not expect that to happen, but okay, okay. If you guys have any more comments or if you have any more insight into those filters, more filters that people can use and how they can use them creatively, please leave them in the comment section below. Once again, this whole overlay pack you're seeing right there is the Apex 
free, completely free Apex overlay pack that you can get on gumroad.com slash get level. This is time for me to put some social media somewhere. And if you have any friends that you know uses uh, Streamlabs OBS, you can uh, share this video with them. I would really appreciate it. If you haven't started using Streamlabs OBS yet, or you're using a different program, consider switching or just installing Streamlabs OBS. I will have an affiliate link in the description if you download it for free. From this link i'm getting a little bit of money and charity is also getting a little bit of money so please consider it but that was it for the video guys thank you so 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 much for watching i will see you guys next time go out there make me proud get level out